We usually assume that we experience the world as a direct and accurate representation of reality. However, visual and auditory illusions, false memories, and differences in perception show us that's not true at all. One crazy example of differences in perception is something called synesthesia. Synesthesia is when one type of stimulus, like seeing a number or a letter, automatically and consistently produces another perception, like a shape or color. That's the most common kind, and autistic savants like Daniel Tammet experience synesthesia in this way. Artist Melissa McCracken also perceives the world this way, but she also experiences color when she listens to music. Because synesthesia is rare and so complicated, scientists don't yet have an explanation for how it happens. They have a few ideas, though. One idea that has been around for a while is that synesthetes have extra connections between cortical areas. So activity in the visual cortex from seeing the number three also activates nearby areas and creates the perception of the purple shape. A related idea is that maybe synesthetes have reduced feedback from inhibitory brain areas. This means that seeing the number three activates normal brain areas, but other areas of the cortex don't restrain or clamp down on activity as much, and therefore activity spreads to other areas to produce the purple shape. Another idea has to do with an area of the brain called the thalamus. The thalamus relays sensory and motor signals from the body to the cortex. Some researchers think that synesthetes may have differences in the connections between the thalamus and the cortex that occurred while their brains were developing. One reason this explanation arose was that a few individuals have gotten synesthesia after they had a stroke in the thalamus. On the other hand, some researchers think that synesthetes don't have any differences in brain structure or function. Instead, they think that synesthesia just represents a special type of memory. Maybe early in life, the number three was usually seen with a certain color and shape, and that connection was remembered. Obviously, there are a lot of interesting possible explanations for synesthesia, but no consensus yet. This is just one example of how much we still need to learn about the brain. But one thing we can know, we all experience the world a little differently.